For the next 24 hours, we will be sleeping in an ice dome completely made of ice at sub-freezing temperatures. If you saw our last video, you would know that we were in northern Vermont skiing with some friends at Stowe. This week, we are trading northern Vermont in a ski condo for northern Norway and an ice condo? A couple days ago, we flew from Boston to Oslo, Norway for a couple day adventure here. And then this morning, we flew from Oslo up to Tromso in the Arctic Circle. While we're here, we're gonna be doing a lot of cool things like snowshoeing, maybe seeing the Northern Lights, dog sledding, eating some authentic Norwegian food, and trying to stay warm the whole time while we do it. So right now, we're about to go meet our guide for a quick tour of this entire facility. And if you stick around to the end, we're gonna talk about how much it costs to be here for one night, and if we think it's worth it. They are more than three meters thick, the walls of snow. And like you saw, they put these immense, huge balloons and they blow them up with air and then they throw just snow from the outside. Put in the blackberry juice and vodka and one without alcohol. If you're underneath, maybe. Underneath. Oh yeah. Okay, Do you feel it? I feel it. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, it is slippery. So when you look at Lars Olaf, you see that he looks angry, that he has long hair and a big beard. And that's the incarnation of how we imagine today how the Viking uh, looked like. So this sculpture, here we have Ikrasil. And Ikrasil, you could translate it from Norse language to English language. You could translate it with the tree of living. So what we see is, we have the top of the tree where the hawk, it's actually it's not the eagle, it's a hawk is living and we have this first world which would be Asgard. So here we see a Sami reindeer herder. How do we know that he's reindeer herder actually? And how do we know where he's from? So this man here, we can see that he's from northern part of Norway and that he's reindeer herder because of his head. They live in a labo. Of course they were forced today to adopt the modern way of human beings of modern society. So this is crazy. We just had a 30 minute tour from our tour guide. It was awesome. We learned a lot about the Norwegian and Viking mythology, as well as how to drink from the ice bar and just got familiarized with how they built this place. We saw a little presentation and I'm so impressed. We are going snowshoeing and hopefully gonna see the Northern Lights. I will not only to help you know to put on the snowshoes, I will tell you how to use them. We can put on your shoe if you go in. I already checked the binding, so the binding is uh, activated, let's say like this. You pull here, and it's really tight, and then you just do this. You move, really simple. Ready to rumble. I really want to see the northern lights, but it's really cloudy. So I'm sad. This, what you can see here, what grows here on this tree, it's called lichen. What is important about the birch tree here is to make fire. Show it here. If you take them off, you can peel them away, like paper almost. Sometimes it goes easier, sometimes it's a bit harder. And this is really important now for you. Do you see how fast it ignites? So when you do fire here in the north, people do it with birch bark. And make the fire for you, it's good that you do the fire on your own. <laughs> so I've, I have all kinds of wood, I just put them in the middle. I light it in here or down Yeah, here? down there, I, I think. Oh. Is it there? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so smoky. dry and it will also get the uh, energy from the wood so it will start burning in this wood and has some like food. Ooh. I'm pretty dumb. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Time for dinner! Oh. 
So for dinner tonight, we have salmon, reindeer, and veggies, and I'm gonna try the reindeer. I see it on fire. <laughs> Actively on fire. <laughs> I, I like it. It's gonna taste good on a cookie. It's gonna be delicious on the, between two cookies. Like I'm not sure if you can tell, but that is the Northern Lights. Time to set up our bed to go to sleep. They give you a liner to go inside so that way you're not like touching the sleeping bag that somebody else may have used and they can just clean this much easier than cleaning the whole sleeping bag. And just like that, the bed is made. So the only thing not made of snow or ice in this entire place when you arrive is literally the mattress, pillow, sleeping bag, and reindeer skin kind of mattress pad and that you're us. provided. And For us. Now. Yeah, right now. <laughs> right now we're not made of ice, but we might be when we wake up tomorrow morning. So today we learned a lot about the Sami people and how they're still living in Norway and Sweden, I think and how their way of life, which is a lot different than our Western way of life. And it just has me reflecting a lot today and tonight about how I'm like, I have these daily stresses. They're definitely similar in the basic principle of it, but at the same time, I'm stressing about like my corporate job and like social media and like they're herding reindeer. And I'm like, well, doing what? Maybe this is an identity crisis, but it's the truth. They say you're the warmest when you sleep at night, when you're in your thermals, so that's what we're about to do. Good night. Good night. For sleeping in a freezer, I'm actually pretty comfortable last night. Let's see how Sarah's doing. Are you awake? Mm-hmm. No, just sleep. I slept once I was cold going to bed, and then when I went to bed, I didn't wake up. The average temperature in here is about 23 degrees or minus 7, I believe, in Celsius. So not warm, not cold. There's no wind, obviously, but still very much feel like you're sleeping in a freezer. So this place has seven unique rooms. They're all pretty much like this, just with a bed in them. And they each have a unique sculpture, which is designed by an artist that comes here and does all the ice sculptures that are seen here. And it's such a beautiful place. But now it is time to go to the warm part of the hotel for some breakfast and some fire to warm up because it is cold. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Can I go in my sleeping bag? <laughs> Hop there. Checking out of this hotel looks a bit different than other hotels we've seen. <laughs> There's a sunrise. Holy cow. Got some hot chocolate. Part of the warming hut. Oh, look at that. Let's go dog sledding. Oh, you can hear the dogs. This is gonna be awesome. I feel alive. <laughs> After a quick costume change into some special winter suits because it is way too cold to wear our normal clothes here, we are ready to go dog sledding. We are in the Arctic Circle. <laughs> <laughs> we came in last night, so couldn't see any of this, but we are seeing it now and it is absolutely stunning. Do you think that's what the Norwegians say to motivate them? Go puppies. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> gotta give them some space, they can't handle our heat. <laughs> They're doing great, we got a fast crew. We got a good crew. Nice and strong. OK, 
Okay, Jay, I would say you've been a great pusher. A musher. I a think. musher. I think, I think. Don't quote me on that. I've been a great passenger too, right? You have, you've been the best passenger I've ever had. <laughs> My eyelashes are freezing. I don't know if you can tell. The steam is coming up from my face mask and going right to the eyelids and freezing immediately. <laughs> We've been following a track this whole time basically, but now we're kind of going off the beaten path it feels like. We're collecting plowing our own way. lots of snow. These dogs, I'm so impressed. Good job driving. My turn? I think it's time to switch. Yay! Let's do it, let's see how you do. All right, we have switched. It is Sarah's turn to drive. Let's see how she does. How you feeling? I'm a little nervous. It'll be great. It's so it's way easier than the day. I know. You it's think. like the anticipation of stopping and like waiting, and the dogs are so anxious to go embarking. I'm like, am yeah. I ready? Sorry, guys. <laughs> They're too good. They're too. Our crew They're is too fast. Our crew is way too fast. They are catching up to the crew in front of them like immediately. And we have a downhill. How's the driving? It's good. Steer a little bit to the right, babe. A little bit to the right. Come on, lean with it. Group in front is just too Sorry. slow. Sorry. How's it going back there? Amazing. Watch out, branch. Yeah, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> so. Our dogs are just superior. And the weather is perfect. It's so clear. The sun is coming up. It hasn't come over the mountains yet for us, but they're lighting up. Uh, Absolutely perfect. Yeah, stay in the track. So part of it is when you go outside the track a little bit or the sled starts to tilt or you're on a turn, you gotta kind of lean with it to give the dogs a little help and so we don't tip over. Are right, you ready guys? Go. We're making Sarah work for it now. I like to say I'm in shape. <laughs> the uphills, the uphills are a little tough for the dogs, so sometimes you have to get off and give it a little run or kick with your leg like you're on a skateboard, and it really does help them. I think we're heading back now. Sarah has been doing a great job of driving, and I've been an even better passenger. My face might look kind of weird right now because it feels very cold. I'm not sure if my face is even moving at this point with when I'm talking, but I'm sure it is. The sun is slowly coming over the mountains, hoping it warms us up a little bit. But this is, oh, I know we've said it so many times and we sound like a broken record, but this is absolutely amazing. incredible. Just it's such a great, amazing experience. <laughs> we have some friends with us right now. Hello guys. How are you doing? Good job, driver. Hey. hey. This is the crew. You guys are so good. Good job. You're a jumper. Good job. Oh. Look at the snow. Oh. That was awesome. It is time for us to get warm. That was amazing. I know we've said it so many times before, but that was the best way to cap off this experience of in the Arctic Circle, I think. Our guide said this is the first day since October that they've seen the sun on the trail. So when KJ was so excited to see it, it definitely was valid. After a quick change back into our clothes, we already missed those snowsuits. They were so warm, but our toes are finally not numb anymore. Yeah. And now it is time for an authentic meal in one of these little teepee things. And some hot chocolate. Let's smoke. This is gonna be hot. So we have some bidos. It is a traditional Sami people dish. Uh, it's a reindeer stew. It's reindeer, potatoes, carrots, onions, and a stew. So I'm very excited about it. Don't burn yourself. It looks really hot. Mmm. That's delicious. 
sadly our time at the ice dome and camp tamok tamok yeah camp tamok has come to an end i'm so sad to be leaving this place is absolutely gorgeous we'll probably be back yeah um this was but, a fantastic experience yeah. we highly recommend so amazing so heading back to tromso now it's about an hour and 15 minute bus ride back to the city very good Just checked into our hotel. We're gonna have some vitamins because we haven't really had that many um, vegetables. And then we're gonna take a shower because we also haven't done that and go to dinner. We loved being at the ice domes and we would definitely do it again. All right, so after taking a nice long hot shower, getting some dinner back in Tromso and hanging out for a little bit, I'm ready to run by you guys the price of the hotel that we stayed in last night at the Ice Domes, as well as what you get for that price, and if we think it's worth it. So the overall price for a one night stay in the Ice Domes is 12,500 Norwegian Krona, which translates to roughly 1,500 US dollars. That is very expensive at first glance, but you get a ton of value for that money that we think ultimately makes it worth it for going to the ice domes and having the experience that you have. So for that money, you're getting accommodation at the ice domes, three meals, you're getting a bunch of tours, you have dog sledding, a northern lights tour that's also combined with snowshoeing, as well as being able to see the northern lights. If you're lucky on a clear night, you can pop outside at any time and see them. Also, all transportation is included to and from. It's about an hour and 15, hour and a half drive from Tromso. So that's a really nice bonus. You also get equipment for all of the tours that you do. So you get big snowsuits, boots that are very comfortable, snowshoes, poles. And then on top of all that, you get drinks included. So any non-alcoholic beverage like water, hot chocolate, coffee, tea, all of that is included. So really quick, we just did a little breakdown of the pricing of the room and what we think would be a value of all of those things because all the tours that we did, dog sledding, the Northern Lights, as well as snowshoeing, we would have done anyways. So that's why we kind of just justified it as paying the one big price for the hotel room at the ice domes for one night. Based on what we've seen online and what we kind of looked at for research, dog sledding is about 150 per person based on the time frame that you're, we did it for in the ice domes. After that, snowshoeing is about $100 each based on the time frame. And then the Northern Lights tour is about $100 each. So right there with all the equipment and those prices, that's 700 US dollars right off the bat. So already we're down from about 1500 to 800 US dollars on the pricing. Also too, based on the food and how many meals you get, all the uh, non-alcoholic drinks you're getting, it's about 150 each per person for the night. So that's $300. So that's $1,000 right there, which ultimately leaves us with about $500 for the Ice Dome experience itself. And honestly, 250 for a night is pretty expensive per person, but when you break it down as the awesome experience of sleeping in a dome completely made of ice in Northern Norway, it doesn't really seem too bad, especially on top of everything else you get for that value. So I hope that that was helpful for you. We think it was worth it to do. Obviously it's expensive and there's definitely, you know, less expensive options for going to Norway and having those experiences, but that's what we chose to do. We loved it. And if you can, we highly recommend doing it. So I hope that was helpful for you. It was totally worth it to us. And we loved our Norwegian adventures that we had so far. And we cannot wait to show you more in the next video. I'm hot. <laughs> You're already sweaty. I'm toasty under this. <laughs> I'm trying. Come on. You got it, guys. Are you leaning left? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. Did you say something under the bed? A blanket. Oh. I didn't hear that. I was just, I was just under the bed. I was like, what's under the bed? <laughs> the, the monsters. Oh.